Why do my hands look this orange and my face look so pale? I swear in real life, it does not look this bad. Well, I don't think it does, but on camera, this is kind of embarrassing. Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. How are we all? I hope we're all doing very, very well. I have just checked into the most beautiful room. I am currently on a trip with Cordially, one of my favorite skincare brands, and we are in Bordeaux. Sounds very posh, doesn't it? I'm here for two nights. I wasn't going to vlog, gonna be honest, but now I've got here, it's so beautiful. Who better to share it with than you? And it gives me someone to talk to because obviously I have a room to myself. I have quite a lot of free time this trip and I just wanna to talk to you. Should I give you a room tour? Okay, so this is the bed area and there are my shoes that I wore today. It's very dark wood, but it's so, so beautiful. Like I love all of the furniture so much. It is kind of reminding me a little bit of Soho Home. And then if I pan round, you can see from this direction, the beautiful light coming in. I also feel like my bag looks very good on this chair over here. But look at the view out of this door. I haven't actually opened these doors yet. Look at this, guys. Wow. We weren't expecting the weather to be this good. Like, it's actually hot. I feel like I should give you a full tour. Can you see all the ducks down there? It's so pretty. And if I pan round, this is my room from the door. And I'm going to quickly show you the bathroom because it's gorgeous. I don't really feel like it's showing on camera how nice it is in real life. But look at this bath. I'm definitely going to have a bath whilst I'm here. It's so pretty. And here's the shower. Like such a stunning, stylish hotel. I'm not looking too stylish right now because I've not long been off of a flight. But here I am. It was also really cold when we left England, so I'm in like a full tracksuit over here. I've got quarterly products by the sink, of course. You all know I use this every single night. Their oil cleanser, absolutely love it. And funny enough, I mentioned in, I think it was even my last vlog, how much I love this moisturizer. I didn't actually bring any moisturizer with me because I was hoping they would have some here, and they do. So that's very nice by the sink. I actually made myself jump in this mirror earlier. Guys, it's stunning. It's like something out of a movie. You might remember I actually went on a trip with Cordially to Chamonix at the beginning of the year, and they so kindly brought me here and I just feel incredibly lucky. It feels like summer again. As I've already said, I think I've already said this, we are here for two nights. We arrived about two hours ago. We've already been for lunch. I'm here with about, I want to say there's probably like 12 or 15 of us. Some of the girls I already knew, but lots of them I've never met before. And I really like that with trips because it's so nice meeting new people. It's a really lovely group of girls. So we went for lunch this afternoon after we arrived. And in about three hours, we're going wine tasting. And I think we're also going for dinner again this evening. I've actually said to myself, I'm not gonna drink on this trip and we're going wine tasting. But the hotel is actually on a vineyard. So I'm definitely gonna do the wine tasting because it just needs to be done. But other than that, I'm going to try, try and not drink too much because it just makes me feel like crap and I just don't get work done. I hate the fact that I'm like this, but wherever I go, I make the place such a mess. So please ignore the mess, but I'm going to quickly show you my outfit for wine tasting. So... I have on these jeans, which I got from Massimo Duty. My shoes are my Chanel ballet flats. My belt is Hermes. My top is Cos. I'm going to pop around my shoulders my Massimo Duty cardigan. My sunglasses are Celine. I'm gonna put those on my head. And my Chanel classic flat. Can you even see? As I said already, sorry about the mess. Before I go, I'm gonna give you a tour of some of the hotel. I don't really know where I'm going myself, but I feel like we need to have a little look around. Okay, so this is my room in here, and this is how it looks from outside. It's all so picturesque and so beautiful. Can you see the vineyard in the background? Oh, my guys, look at this. There's actually a swan as well. Oh, here the swan comes. 
How nice is this? Wow, look at all of the ducks. I feel like they're showing off to the camera. Sorry, where are they all coming from? I feel like there's hundreds of them. Okay, let's go to the spa area. Oh, and here's my room from back here. Okay, I can't get through the gate. I don't know how to, but there's the outside pool and apparently there's a pool inside as well. I don't know what I was expecting with this place, but it has far exceeded my expectations. And here's some of the vineyards, but we're actually going wine tasting. So we'll be able to see even more of them. This lighting is not very good right now, but this is my outfit of the evening. Um, as I've said, you can't even see me. So my top and my trousers are both Massimo Dutti. My shoes are Gucci and my bag's Gucci as well. I've also got a Massimo Dutti cardigan on. Very neutral vibes. Yeah, maybe you can see me better in here. Here's my shoes. Sorry, ever has such a mess. Just got to dinner. How cute are our name places? I love this. It looks so cozy in here. Good. Evening. I actually cannot wait to get into bed guys. I've had the longest day. I went to bed at 12 a.m. And my alarm went off at 4 a.m. Four hours sleep is not okay. It's actually been such a good day. I've loved it. This place is so beautiful. We had such a nice dinner. I have the cod followed by chocolate fondant, which I didn't even show you the chocolate fondant because I demolished it before I even had time to get my camera out. It was so good. The quarterly team are so lovely. The hotel is so lovely. The girls on the trip are so lovely. Everything is just so lovely. Even my pajamas are so lovely. I actually got these from Abercrombie and Fitch the other day. And they're just such soft material. They actually do them in a few different colors and I think I'm gonna order them in another color. I always just feel so incredibly grateful when I get to come on trips like this. To you and to most people, they do look like they're just a really fun time. They are fun, but there's actually a lot of work involved when you come to these things. But to be able to work with the brands that I've been working with just recently has honestly been, well, it's been a dream come true for a long time, but like just recently more than ever, I've been so grateful. And I know I say thank you to you lot a lot. I know it's probably incredibly cringy when I do, but I just want to say thank you again. I was going to use this um, oil cleanser, but I've actually brought one with me and I don't want to open a new one. Yeah, I know it's probably incredibly cringy, but I just, I feel like I need to say it more often. Just thank you for all of your support. Just being here, watching my video, even if you're a silent viewer, you know, even if you never comment or you never like, I still appreciate you. I really do. And yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for everything because without you i wouldn't be on trips like this for that i feel i could never thank you enough so far garnier micellar water just to take off the bulk of my makeup quarterly cleansing oil which looks very shiny and oily when it first goes on your face but once you add a little bit of water to it it turns to almost like a milky consistency you know when you close your eyes and wash your face and you think there's going to be someone stood behind you when you look back in the mirror that's how I just felt. I'm actually gonna do a double cleanse because I feel like after the plane today, my skin needs it. Next, I'm gonna do a few pumps of the Cordially, I didn't even show you, Reservatrol Serum. I don't know if I'm saying that wrong, probably am, because I say everything wrong. I've been using this a good few weeks. It's not one of the products from Cordy I've used for ages, I'm gonna be honest, but so far I really like it. And it's not the product that's broken me out just to let you know that. This is actually two times more effective than retinol in collagen production. It's meant to firm your skin, help with wrinkles, and just overall hydrate. And I really like it, it's such an easy to use product. You use it morning and night before your moisturizer, but I actually use it before I put my skin and me on, and I really like it. I just let it sink into the skin for a few minutes, Next, we've got my daily doser. I feel like this needs no introduction on my channel. It's skincare that's designed for you. You go online, you take a consultation. I've been using it over a year and I absolutely love it. You can't just use this on its own, which is why 
I love cordly products so much and I'm not just saying that because I want to trip with them I just like to say that is not the reason if you've watched my videos before you know how much I use this cleanser you know how much I love their moisturizer and so many of their products I really wish they had a mint tea in this room but I just checked and there is no mint tea I feel like I'd really love one before bed do you know what else is really nice cordially do a tea and I thought they would have some cordially tea here but unfortunately not anyway Laneige, Laneige, however you say it. Someone actually did tell me how to say this in a vlog just recently, but I can't remember which way it is. But their lip mask, you all know how much I love it. UK Lash Lash Serum. And for my night cream, I'm going to use something new. Which one's a night cream? Okay, this one is the night cream. So online it says, this age-defying concoction harnesses a patented blend of the brand's cult classic Reservatol complex alongside a vegan collagen booster and a natural hyaluronic acid. And the results speak for themselves. In a genetic test, the formula was seen to increase the natural production of hyaluronic acid twofold and collagen fivefold. Well, that's actually very impressive. While in a clinical study of 42 women in over 52 days, it boosted a 95% satisfaction rate surrounding its firming abilities. Plus the packaging is fully recyclable, allowing Cordley's carbon footprint to be reduced by 40%. Effective and sustainable, what's not to love? Well, let's give it a go. And I'm gonna tell you if it's any good. I am actually yet to find a Cordley product I don't like. Actually, that is a lie. There is one product I don't like. I'm gonna be honest, it's their deodorant. I'm a sweaty bitch and it's not strong enough for me. I'm a Mitchum girl, like I've got to wear Mitchum deodorant because that is the only stuff that's strong enough to stop me sweating. <laughs> but other than that, I've never tried a cordly product I don't like. And last but not least, a little bit of eye cream. And that is me ready for bed. And I feel like I'm going to sleep like a baby. I think I'd sleep slightly better if I had a mint tea. Good morning to what is a very rainy, quite miserable morning, but it actually feels really relaxing. I'm gonna show you the rain. It's actually just stopped raining as I started filming. But it's a little bit cloudier this morning, but still so beautiful. I actually slept really well last night, although I woke up itching my leg and my foot, and I was actually really scared. There were bed bugs because you know there's having this bit of a bed bug thing at the moment. I confirm there are no bed bugs, but there was a mosquito. And it has bitten me in three places. I'm someone that attracts mosquitoes, like they love me. I don't know why, it must taste good. This morning is Pilates morning, and despite me talking badly about Lululemons in a recent video of mine, I bought a new Lululemon set for the occasion. I adore the material of these leggings, but as I said in the other video, they bobble as soon as you wash them. I did read that some of you haven't experienced the same thing, but a lot of you have. And despite the fact they bobble, I just love how they fit on me, so I continue to buy new pairs quite regularly. And I did say after a few wears, they're ready for the bin, and I think a lot of you took it literally, like I put them in the bin. I do not, I just wear the bobbly ones around the house, but it is a shame that the material's so rubbish. There is a duck right outside my window. Mr. Puddle Duck is very puddly today. By the way, my sports bra is Gymshark. And then I also bought this cute kind of long sleeve top, but I feel like maybe it looks a little bit like a sausage skin on me. I'm not sure if this is a vibe or it's just accentuating all of my lumps and bumps. This kind of off the shoulder style, this crossover here has reminded me of ballet. I actually did ballet, guys, from the age of three until I was about 20. Why is this so hard? I'm very rusty. Oh, I'm so out of breath. Maybe wearing a long sleeve top is not a good idea because I'm so sweaty. Speaking about sweaty, deodorant, Mitchum. I only actually bought one perfume with me. Perfumes de Mali Valier. It's a little bit strong for the daytime, but we have no option. Also, how cute is this? I received this little bag this morning and it says, it's a Pilates princess kind of morning. See you at class. And I got some new shoes. And also Pilates weights. Something about me. Even if I get up three hours early to the time that I need to be somewhere, I'm always still gonna be late. I don't even know what the reason for it is. I feel like it's actually some kind of mental issue I have. I'm just always in a rush, even when I don't need to be. I always just make myself late. Okay, this is the Pilates outfit. The Chanel bag is not really part of the look because it's a little bit over the top, but 
I don't have any other bag with me. Oh, well, I could use my big YSL tote, but it's just unnecessarily big. So this is just what's coming with me because I need to put you guys inside a bag. <laughs> guys, this isn't a good start. I'm sweating before the class has even started. I need to like calm down. <laughs> was so good I love Bryony so much Bryony took the class so if I already mentioned that I don't really know she actually has an app some of you might remember that I went to one of her sort of Bryony in real life big events in London a little while ago I actually started following Bryony in the first lockdown which was like over three years ago now and um, I've met her many times and she's just so lovely she's such a kind soul and it was such a good way to start the day and her Pilates classes are the best I've now just changed my outfit because we are going for a little bit of lunch. I am starving, I have to say. My jeans are, do you know what? This is actually a full Massimo Duty look. Jeans are Massimo Duty, the same as the ones I wore yesterday. My cardigan, some of you might remember this from a try on haul that I did because I wore this in the hall, like throughout the hall. I've got my Chanel ballet flats on, my Chanel classic flat and just a really easy outfit. I think a lot of the girls are going in their gym wear, but truthfully, I don't feel that confident in gym wear at the moment. I feel like it looks like a sausage skin on me and I feel much more confident wearing something like this. So this is my outfit of the day. I am getting soaked, but I need to show you guys I just walked into a bush. I'm getting soaked, but look how peaceful and tranquil it looks, even in the rain. And this is the restaurant we're eating in. It's also the restaurant we ate in yesterday lunchtime as well. So this is within the hotel. Lunch was very nice. And now I'm off to the spa because here is the Cordelie Spa. It's like I'm going through a forest. <laughs> this is spa chic. I've had my dressing gown on <laughs> and I've kept my bag so it doesn't go in the locker. And look at the shoes. The shoes are just something else. I hope we can keep them. They're actually really massaging on the toes. Do you like my toe colour by the way? This is the spa area and where the pool is. I don't want to film too much because there's people in the pool. And here's a section with water. But there's an outside pool as well. I don't know how to get out there, but it looks very nice. It would be nice if it was sunny. And there's also hot tubs, but I'll show you that after my treatment. I'm now in the treatment room and the bed I'm under is heated. But there's a hot tub in here as well. Some of the products we're going to be using. So zen. So this is the before. This is what they're working with. I just woke up. I snored. I went on this. <sighs> How embarrassing. I did it twice. My eyes were just shut and I went, <sighs> she went, are you okay, madame? Anyway, it was very nice. And my skin feels very clean. I look a completely different color on my, look at the difference between my face and my fake tan on my body though. I didn't put any tan on my face. Look at my hands. Because we're having a late dinner tonight, the Cordley girls have sent us chips. Well, I don't know why I'm saying ours because I'm the only one in here, but must have sent it to everyone else as well. But chips, which look so good. Condiments, so I'm definitely going to have all three. Ketchup, mayo and mustard. And some bread as well. I haven't drank Coca-Cola in years because of the caffeine. I feel like I just want to have a sip just to remind myself what it tastes like. It's good, you know. This is actually Coke Zero. It's really quite good. Like if I drink the bottle though, I'm gonna be up all night and just be an anxious mess. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm not on the way to dinner, I'm actually back from dinner. It was lovely. I have actually had a little bit too much to drink. Not too much to drink. I had two cocktails and I had a limoncello, but I'm a lightweight, so I'm a little bit drunk. But I wanted to show you my outfit. So, my top is from Zara. My jeans are from Massimo Duty. Sorry, the lighting here is probably terrible. My shoes are my Jambita Rossi heels, which I've worn to death. My earrings are from Zara. And my bag, it looks like Bottega, but it's actually from a place called Olivia Sales. 
And this was my outfit this evening. And we actually went to a restaurant which is part of the Big Mama group. And it's called, I don't know what it was called. It was so good, the truffle pasta was unreal. And by the way, I never, ever, ever wear my hair up, but my hair just felt so greasy that I put it in a ponytail. Do you like it? I can't wait to take this makeup off and get into bed. And I will see you guys in the morning. My throat this morning is like razor blades. I don't know what's going on. I actually did have a sore throat yesterday, but today it's even worse. I was even having dreams about having a sore throat. And then I woke up and realized it wasn't a dream and actually my throat is very, very sore. Anyway, good morning guys. I've actually just packed and got myself ready because we are leaving today. It was a very flying visit to be honest. We arrived on Tuesday and we're leaving on Thursday. Should I do a quick outfit of the day as I've just got ready? If you follow me on Instagram, you'll definitely have already seen this outfit before because I've worn it a good few times now. My jeans are the same ones you've seen many times on this trip, Massimo Duty. My t-shirt is Cos, of course. My cardigan is Massimo Duty. I'm then gonna do my Chanel classic flat. I'm gonna take off the hotel slippers and do my Chanel ballet flats. Maybe I should leave the cardigan open. Maybe this looks better. I'm actually really sad that I haven't got any content from this trip. Like, I, I mean, I've taken photos of the surroundings, but none of myself. Like seriously, it's unheard of, but it's because the weather just hasn't been that great. And it's been, there's been a lot of rain, you know? And so I just don't have any content to post. Obviously I've been vlogging and things like that. As you forgot to say, I'm not dressed like this because I'm traveling like this. I am definitely traveling in a tracksuit. But the reason I'm like this is because before we leave, we're going for lunch in one of the restaurants here. We don't actually leave here until 4 p.m. and it's currently 12, so right now I'm just checking out. I wonder if I took paracetamol, it would help a sore throat. This is our food. Everyone is here. That's what I like. I'm like, I'm really I actually ate some bread today as well. Do you know that's And just like that, we are back in London. I edited this vlog last night and realized I never actually wrapped it up. I just kind of left you in Bordeaux. And there was actually a few things I never explained very well in this vlog. I'm sometimes like really guilty of doing that. I think in the moment I get too ahead of myself and I just, I don't explain a lot. By the way, these Clarins lip oils, I managed to get my hands on one of them the other day. This is in the shade chocolate and they are so nice. They have been totally hyped online, so I needed to try them for myself, but they do actually live up to all of the hype. It's like the perfect consistency for an oil where it's not too oily, it's not too sticky. They're great, and I actually really love this color as well. I didn't really think I was gonna like it, but I do, I like it very much. Anyway, what I was saying was, I'm just not that good sometimes explaining what's going on in the moment. So just to end this vlog, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about where I've been. So you know the basics. I went on a trip with Cordely to Bordeaux and the hotel we stayed at was called Les Sources de Cordely. I'm probably completely saying that wrong, but something along those lines. As you saw, the hotel was beautiful, but the hotel is actually owned by the parents of the lady who owns Cordely, the skincare brand. Or I should just say like the family. I think in fact her sister runs the hotel itself. We met her mum there and Mathilde is the owner of Cordely, the skincare brand. And I actually met her when I went to Chamonix with Cordely in January. And they are all so lovely, such kind, welcoming people. And just a little bit of a backstory. And I found this so interesting. I actually learned this back in January, as I say, when I went away with them the first time. So Mathilde, who is the owner of Cordely, grew up, I'm not sure at what age from, maybe since she was born, I'm not really too sure, but grew up on a vineyard that her parents owned. And of course on a vineyard, there are lots of grapes. So with the grapes, they made wine. But in 1993, which was actually the year I was born, Mathilde and at the time her boyfriend, I believe, who is now actually her husband, met with a professor told them that grape seeds contain some of the most powerful antioxidants in the world and from the seeds of the grapes from her parents vineyard they teamed together to create a skincare brand that we now know today as Cordily. I feel like that's such an incredible story and I'm really annoyed with myself that I didn't actually tell you the story when I was on the trip but I think I was just too caught up in the moment. I always feel like I have more time than I actually do and something you've probably already realized about me is I'm always in a rush. Even though I'm not in a rush, I am in a rush and my timing and things is just all off. So 
I wanted to tell you that information because I've actually known it for quite a long time and it's a story that I love. Like I've told my friends, I've told my mum, I've told my dad, my nan, my family because I think it's such a great story to know just where Cordley came from. And as you guys know, I genuinely am such a lover of the brand. It also loves me. Like there's not many skincare brands that I can really get on with because you'll all be bored of me saying it. I do break out really easily. But Cordley are products that my skin loves. And I love the brand, but I also love the history of the brand as well. And the fact it's all kind of like still kept in the family. Something else to note is it is a hotel, so anyone can book to stay there. And it was such a gorgeous place. It was so easy to get to from the UK as well. I think the flight was like an hour and a half or an hour and 15 minutes. And then it was about half an hour in a car, maybe even less than that, like 20 minutes in a car. It was like a sanctuary. The spa was lovely. It was so relaxing. It was just, it was just a really lovely time. And I am actually really tempted to book to go back with my friends. Maybe even in the spring of next year. I think it would be a really lovely trip. Anyway, I hope so much you've enjoyed this video. If you've made it this far, I love you very much. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one. And if you're watching this in real time, I mean like around the time it goes live, then Sunday we've got an unboxing and Monday I'll be back with another vlog. So hopefully I'll see you there once again. Sorry about the mess, but that's just me. Love you all loads. Have a good rest of your week. See you Sunday. Bye-bye.